Hey folks, welcome back. This is your man Takisa. Um, just wanted to get this review done real quick because the supplier did get this out to me as quickly as they could. Thank you again for supplier for the shoes. This is an early review of the Amma Manier Air Jordan 4s. All right, folks, so before we get into the review, just want to say thank you for everyone who has been coming on board. It might be a slow growth, but it's an organic growth. I greatly appreciate the love, the support, and the respect. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get some more people coming on board. Again, I just want to share my collection because it's about the love of the shoe from me to you. All right, and we're just showing these sneakers because it's not about the status quo, it's about the toe. And this particular pair of shoes, it's become pretty uh, popular. Uh, within the last couple of months since we first seen it and then through private selection they showed the actual pair um, on their channel on their website on the instagram feed whatever you want to see it they had it um, but fortunately the suppliers got things correct at first when they first came out as you can see on the screen here uh, i mean i respect them for what they were trying to do they were trying to get ahead of the game why wouldn't you right you have plenty of air jordan fours to you know sell you got the silhouette on deck so let's create a pattern try to get that colorway looking similar to like the air jordan uh three armor maneers but they were way off with that unfortunately and something told me you know what takisa hold tight it's gonna be just fine the supplier's gonna look out for you sending you those pairs over you and they're gonna be the right rep pair as we see behind me here I'm very grateful that the supplier looked out for me, but you know what? Let's look more into the review, get into some details about the shoe, shall we? All right, folks, so first I figured we could just get into the, you know, basic stuff first. We got the wrapping. Okay, the supplier did the best they could to make sure that there was no damage done to the, sh the box or the wrapping, box wrapping, but of course, as you can see here and here, uh, mission unsuccessful, but hey, we're not wearing this part here. And then let's look at the box real quick here. I'm a Meneer with this nice, finish on the box which is what's up um as we can see right here size 12 13 and a half women's um and suggested retail is correct they did get that part correct sometimes they're a little off about that but yes 225 usd is what the retail price would be on the 23rd of november um, we got the jump man here i'm in here on the inside we do have okay and the wrapping Okay, and if you are interested in where to get this from, these exact pair, please hit me up right there on the screen. The information is available for you. Let us move this out of the way. And we'll put these right here real quick. And that way we can go into the shoe real fast here. Ooh, I'm shifting stuff in the background. I should not be doing that. Now, with this particular shoe here, um, the Alma Manier and Air Jordan 4 Retroviolet Ore delivers an ele elevated take on the legacy silhouette. The Atlanta-based retailer addresses the mid-top in a muted purple nubuck upper, accented with tonal quarter panel netting and a decorative chrome rivet embedded in a lateral collar. Let's take a look at that. I'm about to drop it right on the screen. Not editing that at all. At all. Here's the rig they're talking about. In fact, hold on for a second. Might as well go ahead and sh shine some light on it for y'all so y'all can see it even more clear. Now, um, the woven flights home, okay, uh, dis displays mismatched jump and Amal Manier branding. So on the left shoe, we have the woven Amal Manier. Uh, see here. And then on the right shoe, we have the jump man with that tag woven onto the tongue. Right. And in inscribed across the interior side of each heel tab is the phrase, it's not about the shoes, it's about where you're going. Where are you talking about exactly? Well, hey, let's take a look. It's not about the shoes, it is about where you're going with the Michael Jordan signature right there. So definitely nice looking overall. A little bit of ash, but we'll get into that in a few seconds. Let's bring this down for y'all so I can see the entire shoe on the screen. All right, now quilted textile lines, the collar and insole for a comfortable fit. The sneaker rides in a cream coat, polyurethane midsole, as you can see right here. Okay, and with visible, visible air sole cushioning in the heel, which is what they're talking about right here. Okay, nice cream midsole here. Um, the sock liner, which is very, very nice. This definitely makes it easier to just slip your feet right into it and keep it pushing. Let's look at the tag right quick, which is probably on this side here, which we'll pause it right quick, uh, right here. And then y'all can see what I'm looking at here as far as the production date and the size of the shoe. Um, but overall, these, I mean, you can see a little bit of the ashy transitioning right here, but not much. And I'm gonna go more into that in a few moments, but let's get back to the review, okay? 
All right. Um, now, with these shoes, these particular type right here, these are um, mid-tier. Now, um, something that my reviewer friends and I was talking about, you have more like a, a Durabuck uh, rather than like a new buck. So you're gonna have some transitioning to the surface, but there's not gonna be much compared to say, um, like Colo's pairs you see on the screen right here. There is some ash to it there. As you even see in the pair right here with the private selection, there's some ash to it. There's a little bit more movement in the material. So I would say with this, this is like a, a mid-grade, you know, style. Um, and if you're looking for that, then that's exactly what is available. But if you are looking for a more higher grade, you know, you get what you pay for. You got your low, medium, and high. And the higher, you're just going to spend a little bit more for these particular reps. But if that's important to you, you definitely do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? For me, I'm definitely going to rock these. I'm not stressing it because it's pretty much close to it. Not exact, but close to it enough as it is. We already looked at everything here, but I'll show it to y'all again as far as the outsole of the shoe and the sides here, the actual tag here. So yeah, I mean, everything about it to me is um, pretty much spot on as far as the caging and the material right here, as far as the lines matching up properly with the stitching. That's definitely a good thing because there are times when these Air Jordan 4s are replicated, unfortunately, this netting is always off. I don't know why. It's like the netting here be on point, but the one like right here be, I, I don't know, like it just don't be looking right for some reason, but they definitely got it right with this. Um, and then even with the stitching of the Amamanir sign above the flight, let's take a look at the other one here, which is a right shoe. Um, what y'all probably noticed a little bit is that this is a little smaller than how it should be. It should be a much bigger Nike Air right here. But of course, again, this is a, a mid quality pair of shoes here. And that's the thing about it, folks. Like you have the option to look at these things and be like, you know what? Mid is just fine with me. I I'm only gonna spend this much because again, like you just said, Taikisa, it's for the toe. It ain't for the status quo. I wholeheartedly understand. Okay, that's why I just want to show you that these things exist, all right? So you have the option to either just be like, if I'm about to spend about a buck 20 on these and keep it pushing, or if you want something very close to it, prepare to spend anywhere between 160 to 200 on the reps. Now, of course, as we should know out there in the sneaker community at this point, well, let's turn this around so y'all can see the medial side. The actual release won't be until November 23rd, which is the day before Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving Eve, if you will. I myself am trying to get the retail pair just so we can do that international versus domestic, that rep versus retail uh, video. So we can see the differences between the two. If I don't hit, then it is what it is, uh, say la vie. But if I do, hopefully, then hey, we got that video coming in the works in a couple of weeks. So yeah, fingers crossed on that. Um, other than that though, ain't <laughs> like really, I mean, even with it being slightly different from the uh, retail pair, as we can tell again, this is smaller. The material is not, you know, as quality as it should be, of course. Um, but again, like I said, okay, you just read the screen. So don't hold this up to like the highest of highest standards when you know what you pay for. If you're spending about a good, I don't know, I'd say about 120 to 140 for these, it is what it is. But that doesn't mean they're gonna not last as long. That doesn't mean that they're gonna, that doesn't mean that they're gonna fall apart is what I'm saying. These, these soles, matter of fact, we didn't, we didn't touch on that in this other video just a few seconds ago, but... Yeah. Right? I mean, come on now, there's no, there's no bow right here? Huh? I mean, these soles are solid. These so So, I'm just saying, like if... Now, in the last video, you know what I'm saying, I love my woo ducks. I love my woo ducks. Do you hear me? Okay, but let me back up from the camera right quick because rubber ducky soles, hey, it is what it is. And I'm gonna tell you all the truth every time, regardless if it's a free pair for me to review or if I purchase it out of pocket. Y'all will know the truth up here because we don't tell no lies on this channel. What's the point? This is your man, Tykees. Appreciate y'all coming on, boys. Is it looking good in the background? Hopefully it is. If you have any questions or concerns, please hit me up on Instagram. Information is on the screen. I'm more than happy to answer any questions or concerns you may have. So this way we can just basically talking about the shoe itself and I'll be more than happy to talk with you. Even if you just want to say those shoes is dope, I'll just be like, true, or we'll hit you with the, you know, virtual fist bump or whatever. And we're just going to keep it pushing, you know what I mean? But let's get on to this on feet. Thank you for tuning in to go ahead and see this review. So come on, let's go. I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, uh.
Okay, ain't a thing that's gonna change my mood. Ain't a pace that's gonna break my groove. Ain't no way I gotta pay my way. I work for mines and I will not lose. My energy cannot be bottled in. Sort of like Alice in Wonderland. Fells to the bottom, but that's not a problem. My confidence made me feel like I'm so bottomless. I only keep notes in my memories. Along with the notes in these melodies. So if I get off, consider me lost. I'm roaming the valley of galaxies. I don't do this shit for the non-believers. Talking that shit from behind the bleach. Just follow the leader. I would not deceive you as long as I breathe through the street. That's the mood. That's the mood. That's the mood. That's We be independent living legends, that's the move Clocks ticking down with our seconds left to lose Are you about this life, that decision's left to you? What it do, what it do now? I got some money in my pockets, guess I blew now I made my way up out the soil for a new crown Sipping on the scutter and the stew and that's a mood It's the master composer, back master composure No cap the rap in this polar